What's up guys? Today, I'm going to give you guys an update on my rabbit pickup. I'm going to talk about another vehicle I just bought, um, our new house, and want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. So I have a ton of stuff going on right now. Uh, we've been renting this house here since we got married a little over a year ago and officially just bought our first house. We actually just moved in um, about two days ago. So that's really exciting. But this is gonna be the last video you guys will see in this garage, which um, I've grown really fond of this garage. It's worked really awesome for a starter garage. And so it's gonna be a little bit sad to leave, but hey, we gotta um, start here and it's gonna get bigger and better. So really excited for next year. Um, the plan was to use my rabbit truck here, um, since I have all the cars and this has a bed on it, to utilize this for um, some construction projects. And um, that's about as far as it got. I was going to patch up some of the rust and get on the road, but that didn't go so well. So, starting on the engine here, when I bought the truck here, uh, the injection pump was leaking really bad. Um, I knew that from the start, so shout out to Seb at Cools German Auto. He rebuilt that for me. Um, the starter went out, so I got a new starter on there. Um, the coolant reservoir, um, I started turning this all back down, but yeah, if you saw some videos on Instagram, the thing runs very well. Um, something that's really cool about this truck is that it's a 1.6 uh, turbo, which is really cool. Most of them are NA, and it is a 5-speed, not a 4-speed. So that's something that makes the truck really special. So I started um, cutting all the rust out. Um, there was some damage here that they just bonded over, and it is way worse than I originally thought. So, um, yeah, that's really bad. Back here, again, shout out to Seb. Uh, he got me all this fresh metal here, which is directly out of another Mark one, so I can just weld that all in here. So, that's going to be a project for another day. I wanted to do a quick fix, but this thing's just going to need to, like, just start from scratch, which is why I just tore it down. Instead of patching it, I just want to do it all right at the same time. So, got the dash out. And you guys can just see it's bad. We got holes in the floor here. Um, on the bottom side, the inner rocker is gone. Like there you can see a little bit, but mostly it's gonna be patched from the bottom. Um, yeah, you can see the other side, quite a bit of damage there. Um, but the worst part is this area right here. The other side's not too bad there. Um, so this is gonna take a lot of time, but I'm really excited about the project. Um, I put some pictures and videos on Instagram of this thing, and I know a lot of people are just telling me I should scrap it. Um, but you know, I've always wanted a rabbit truck like this. Um, I feel like I didn't pay it a lot for it. I don't know if I would have bought it if I would have realized how bad it was, but like I mentioned with it being a five speed turbo truck, that's pretty cool. I don't know that the turbo is, um, was factory that I know the injection pump is something weird. It was not originally on this engine. So I know if people are playing with it, it runs pretty good. So it's a lot of fun. So maybe, um, if I could find maybe like another truck that has a bad engine or something, ideally probably it would be cool just to swap the engine and stuff out. But I feel like for what I have in it, um, hey, you know what? It might not hardly be worth all the time I'm putting into it, but if I do everything myself, um, I'm going to learn some good skills from it. And really, it's not that expensive if you do it yourself. So yeah, you guys will see that's going to be really big for next year. So really excited about that. Um, Probably the beginning of next year, I'll have an update on the garage. Um, yeah, working on the garage now leads a lot of work, but next year is going to be really huge, so excited about that. Like I mentioned, I just bought another vehicle, which 
when I started realizing how bad this was, I'd be like, man, I just really need a truck. Um, just because not only hauling construction things, just I keep watching projects. I want to get more projects on the channel for you guys to see. And just, I can't even haul like a car that doesn't run to my house, which is really a pain to always have to borrow stuff. So that's really cool. I got a 2004 Chevy Silverado with some front end damage. Um, maybe I'll throw some pictures on here, but that's kind of, I'm working on that kind of behind the scenes. I'm not sure how much I'll put on the channel, but if you guys want to see, I'll probably, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I don't know. We'll see. Put some wheels and stuff and clean it up. Right. It'll look pretty good. So excited about that. Um, got the GTI looking good here. Um, we'll talk about it more in an upcoming video, but planning on selling the car. That's where I'm at right now. Got too many projects. Um, yeah, I feel like it's a good investment and I just don't have a lot of room. So we'll see. Um, that'll be something for down the road. I'll definitely, I got some more things I want to do to the car first, get it pretty much all OEM and get it minted. Um, so that's really cool. I just want to take a minute and wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Um, I know I just heard so much about death recently. I just, last week we were down in Virginia. My wife's aunt passed away unexpectedly. And just dealing with that, um, I just know I just heard from you guys how many deaths you guys have experienced. Just different people on Instagram, different people I've talked to, different people I know. Just, it just feels like the last few months and maybe, I don't know, I just didn't experience it for a while. Just so many people have died that, yeah, my heart goes out to you. Um, I know Christmas and the holidays are great. It's great time you can spend with family and friends, but... When you come around to that first holiday you don't have with that person, it's really tough. So my heart goes out to you. And I think it also should just remind us that, hey, life is short. Um, death is unexpected. It can be around the corner for any of us. So let's make the most of the time that we have with our family and friends this year. Um, yeah, take the time to spend it and encourage other people. So, hey, make the most of Christmas. Keep Christ in Christmas. And, hey, I'll catch you guys next year. Like I mentioned, got a lot going on right now. So... I'll probably have a few videos coming out here of just some different stuff over the summer that I didn't make videos. I want to get um, an end of the year kind of recap video. It might be a little bit, yeah, be a few weeks in there then. But once we get the new shop up and running, I'm really pumped. So we'll catch you guys then for some more Volkswagen content.